world is inherently hierarchical, and the neocortex allows us to, to understand it in that hierarchical fashion. It's a fairly recent evolutionary feature. Uh, only mammals have a neocortex. Animals without a neocortex, like lizards, cannot really think in hierarchies. Maybe very small exceptions to that, but basically it's the ability to build arbitrary uh, hierarchies of indefinite complexity comes from the neocortex. Key part of the technology or engineering of a system like this is its education. If you can do a perfect job of recreating a neocortex, and it will do nothing uh, useful. Right. Just like a newborn might be cute and so on, but it doesn't really do much mm -hmm. uh, until it learns its lessons. And yeah, let's just talk about formal education. On one hand, it was big enough for human beings to create things like language and art and science and music. Uh, the big innovation of the sapiens is we have this big forehead, so we're squeezing more cortex, the frontal cortex. It's nothing different about the algorithms. It's just a greater quantity of cortex. So with that greater quantity came a qualitative leap, because no other species, no other primate created art and science and music and so on.